Right, so guys, welcome to part three of building the to do interf uh, UI. Right, so yeah, we left it on a, we left on a bad note with some errors showing, and we're trying we're going to sort out this. So this has to do with uh, there's a div missing here. Yeah. Right, okay, so let's go back to our code and I. Uh, think one two we need a div here right we need to close that div right and what else was we here class that class must be class name class name and this one should be class name as well right so let's see what we have now save there this looks clean that's good so in here now we need to change this allocation to start date this one is end date and date and this one is start time start start time start time and in the we need to copy this for the time yeah so if, if we look at the markup for the time picker time picker it's this one it's just that change the class name it's the one that's changing okay the rest are the same so it was start date start date so here it's time start time no yeah start time start time is what i want to change Uh, oh it's this date start date start time start time and this is start date start date start time and we are going to copy the same one okay here it was time time right so I'm going to copy the same one copy this one Copy that one. This should be here. Paste. So this is end time and end time end time like so right save all this let's see where we are now and right no errors so we've got our task allocation start date start time right 
so how, how do we get rid of this by the way yeah so we need to come there whenever you face this problem I know a lot of you know this but we can't take things for granted we are helping each other here so what we need to do we need to auto complete this one equals to off yeah right so save all so I, I've put it at form level hopefully all the offending ones here will um, will be sorted out let's see what we have task yeah that's solved that okay but at times it happens even if you have put your autocomplete off at form level you might have some uh, inputs that are stubborn so you can place that autocomplete off on that individual uh, input that is being stubborn all right okay so what we now need we've got our fields there we now need a uh, our submit button here yeah? don't we so we need this We need to place our submit button there. I'll look for the markup there for buttons and the submit one is this one. So I'm going to copy this. Okay. copy that paste it like so get rid of that then save everything save all and let's see what we have that's good good so far yeah then we need our title to do from there so let's go and put our title within here right and h2 will do and that was to do uh, up then save all this right and let's have a look at what we have yeah that's right that's it so far and uh, let's quickly look at this one we're going to sort out this in the next uh, installment okay and um, we'll leave it at there at the moment.